Hey, Taser, how you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you doing? Very good, mate. I thought we were going to do a Tony and Tezza tech update every couple of weeks. What do you reckon? I think that's an amazing idea. I think this is going to be great to really showcase the Zoom features and function that we have. Right. Excellent. So I got the best man to talk about Zoom tech and I got the most useless person to talk about tech, but I'll be making coffee while you explain to me what's the latest and greatest. Okay. How's that sound? Deal? Deal. I think um, as we step into this new hybrid workplace, um, I think we should definitely start talking about how Zoom and Microsoft Teams coexist with each other. I think that's going to be a great feature. It's a feature that's been around for a while, but I think that's something we really want to address, really want to share with you guys. So you do know that it's not just about Teams versus Zoom. It's also about how they can work together in one business, one organization. Everyone is aware is that Zoom is a video conferencing platform. We also don't just do video, but we do other things like phone as well. But it all comes down to how you as a user um, use that platform yourself. So right now, as you'll probably maybe be aware, um, we do integration into Teams. We do integration into the Microsoft platform. So things like calendar integration. So that's really important. So you guys don't have to use different types um, of other platforms as well. So um, things that are really important you can also do is like I said, um, integrate your Zoom client so you can see um, Zoom client into a Teams or Microsoft platform. So you can see all your calendar information. You can send invites out from there as well. But as we step into the platform a little bit more, um, we do rely on, on uh, that calendar integration for our Zoom room. So as I mentioned before, we coexist with the Microsoft platform. And then when we step into, um, in some cases, you might have customers that use Microsoft Teams as their main collaboration hub. So that, what I mean by that is that they use the Microsoft Teams platform to access, to chat, to have channels. Uh, so let me get this straight. People got Office 365, they do calendar invite from the cloud. They, they have Zoom rooms, they have Zoom, and you can actually organize those resources accordingly. Yes. yes? Fantastic. Fantastic. And that really enables a lot of those features that we have with Zoom rooms that we talk about quite often, right? Those reservation things that's coming out. Yes. Uh, where you need to sit when you go back into the office, super important stuff. Yes. 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 So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and share my desktop. By, by the way, it's 18 grams of coffee grind. Just saying. <laughs> I'm going to show you my guns as I, I, I grind this up. So go ahead, Mike. I'll see you. So I, I'm, when I make coffee as well, I like to grind my coffees. I don't like to use a, a automatic grinder. I like to do it myself. So it, it makes it taste a lot more nicer when you do it. Yeah, again. man. And the smell, it's amazing, right? So, yeah, I get you. I get you. Cool. So I'm just going to launch right now into my studio screen. Right now you can probably see it. I'm just going to move this away a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to take you to the first stage of um, our integration. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, um, something to very to keep something in, in mindful of. So when we do integration, so our Zoom client integrates into a Microsoft platform, allowing you to uh, be able to um, see your calendar information. So you don't have to flick in between the Zoom client and um, and the and the Outlook, for example, to, to know your calendar. So here I'm just in my profile. I'm just going to have a look over into under my um, settings here. And I, if you scroll down a little bit here, you can see you can integrate. So at the moment I have integrated into um, my my Teams and my Microsoft environment. So it allows me to see my calendar information no matter what, what, app, what application I'm going to use. If it's either it's Outlook or if it's um, my Zoom client. So that's one integration that we do. Um, really recommend every customer to enable. The second integration, as I mentioned a little bit earlier about, we, we really depend on that calendar integration for our Zoom rooms and other environments, our, our workplace environment. Um, so here, if we scroll over to room management, we've got calendar integration. And this is where you do um, integrations around calendars and, and scheduling and so on for your Zoom rooms. Um, but also I want to step into what happens if a customer um, is using the Microsoft team software or client as their main communication. And this is where um, there's no such thing as what we say. It's, we wanna make sure that you can actually work, um, they, they are both platforms coexist with each other. So here's an example. I've just logged into my lab. Yep. Um, it's, a, it's a lab that I've done already. So it's already enabled Zoom to be on this uh, team environment. 
So if no one, if you guys aren't aware of how that works, we can click on application, you search for Zoom and you install that application on your um, Teams client. I assume if, if your admin is is admin by an MSP or somebody else, you need admin right to do to do the install, is that correct, sir? Correct, yes. So um, unless you're in a if you're in a closed environment that requires you to have that authorized approval by admins, then you'd have to go through that process. And and most small businesses, users can do that themselves. Just we really, just double check on that as well with your team. So as I mentioned before, you just search for Zoom. And we'll show you do right now. It's popped up. I can click on it and then I can install. You have the install option here and that will install it onto your Teams client. Once you do that, then you have a Zoom um, little section here. So um, it will ask you to install into the, or ask you to log in into the um, Zoom platform. So you now have full access to the Zoom um, platform from your Teams. So as I mentioned before, you don't need to switch in between these two clients when you want to start Zoom meetings or Zoom chat or anything like that. So at, at the top here, we can see all my chat history. Um, I can flick over to meetings. So I can now see all my um, meetings that I have, um, which will ask me to sign in. So let me quickly sign in again. Well, while you're waiting there, if you can actually see, I'm using a manual plunger. I love grinding it and I'm actually doing it by hand. Like a caveman, but not. Like glamping, but not, you know what I mean? So. I'm logged in now into my Zoom client right. through the Teams application. So it's an it's a over-the-top app that's integrated into the Teams platform. So here, I can start a meeting directly out of the Teams platform uh, mm -hmm. or Teams client. I can schedule a meeting um, out of the Microsoft Teams client. Um, I, can, I can share the screen. So if I were to walk into um, a meeting, um, that I have in a Zoom room, I can instantly share from my desktop directly out of that Microsoft Teams client. If you do have Zoom phone enabled, um, we do have a Zoom phone tab up to here as well. So you can click on Zoom phone. This is where you get your full dial pad of your Zoom phone. Um, mm -hmm. You've got access to your history of your previous calls. You also have the history of your voicemails and you've got your D-pad as well here to start dialing numbers directly um, from the client. Just also keep in mind that when we do this, this is not a, a direct route connectivity. So once you start dialing, it will actually launch um, the Zoom client on, on the back end uh, or behind your screen and that will initiate the call. So just keep something in mind. But what happens if you are not using this app that's been installed on, on your client, you can actually then go over to your, your channels within your team's um, client, you have all the access to all your channels. So here, for example, I'm going to click onto my Melbourne team, or actually, let's go to our sales EC APAC team. Here, I can start conversations, I can type and communicate with whoever's in the channel, but also I can initiate um, a meeting directly for everyone in this channel, a Zoom meeting for directly in, in this channel. Um, I can schedule, I can make a call as well. So, um, Zoom call from here. So really really simple process it is just utilizing the ui of the microsoft team client so you don't have to, as i mentioned you don't have to flick in between two clients um because it can be can be confusing for some of those users out there i mean everyone's going back to work a little bit australia's opening up a little bit more obviously i'll be at the next speaking event very shortly but i wanted to understand people going back to office you have this thing called reservations could you go through that a little bit and how that could help people sort of like book and, and do stuff in the office, mate? Yeah, so um, reservation is just another way that um, you can actually start booking seats, rooms, um, so you don't actually need to be in the office door. So let's say you're a remote worker and you, and you um, need to check on who's in the office, you can actually log in. Um, the, the workplace reservation is a, a, a free feature that we've now implemented for our um, Zoom room licenses. So all you need is one license to enable this and that opens up a door for you guys to do have a full booking system inside your organization. So what does it actually mean? It means that you yourself or your staff or your other wider team members can book, um, book and schedule when they're looking at coming into the office. So instead of just booking the rooms where you have the video conference, you can actually set the floor plan. So if you have like an open floor space where you want to book certain 
areas for certain times or certain deaths, you can do that, isn't it? Correct. Yeah, exactly. So I can, what I can do is I can quickly show you what that could actually may look like. So um, let's let me relaunch my screen share again while you have a sip. Of so I'm just going to log in into my uh, lab environment here. So as I mentioned before, um, to get workplace preservation enabled, you, all you need is just one Zoom license, which will actually allow you to have the Zoom system management open. Mm -hmm. So sorry, wrong one. Um, so once you do that, then you have full access to how you can start doing work reservations and so on. So mm -hmm. as you can see on my on my demo account here, I have already have it enabled. So under my personal section here, I have workplace. I can click on this and I will actually take me to um, all the workspaces in my organization that I can book um, in advance. I've just launched into my full floor plan. Um, you can see as well as at the moment, there's only one floor, but you can start loading those floors and you can start organizing those um, building structures. If you, let's say, for example, you have a, a diverse company that works um, in different locations, maybe Melbourne, Sydney, um, mm -hmm. Brisbane, Perth, you may want to have set that up as well. But for, for this example, I've only got one floor under one building. So here I've uploaded the floor diagram. So we can see all the rooms. This is just a diagram that I pulled offline. Um, you can customize and make up your own. So if you have someone internally that can do this, um, you can build your floor di diagram as well. There's some cool applications out there, online applications, um, that you can actually build these floor diagrams if you wanted to. So I can um, have a look um, what's available and what's not. As I mentioned, this is just a, a lab at the moment. Um, I can see disk one or disk three, disk four, disk five. At the moment, they're unavailable because um, I haven't set up this, the counting stuff. But um, once it becomes integrated with the Microsoft platform, um, Microsoft calendaring services, I can start seeing if these are available or not. But all so let me get this straight. You get what you get a Zoom room license. You get the reservations for free, but you also get the kiosk for free as well. So if you put a screen out the front and you need to log in or or do a reception as a as a service out the front, then you can do. Yeah. So um, we launched the reception kiosk uh, about let's say about a year ago now, I think, um, mm -hmm. which allowed you the ability to. Um, by the social distancing as well as so you have someone that's in place that they maybe won't maybe not be sitting at the front desk but sitting in, in the back room so basically what that does is that you, as you walk into the office you can click on the the call button and then you can engage with someone remotely um and they can go through the standard health check check your you know vaccination stuff um, but also with this new workplace preservation there's now opening up a different window or there's a window there that allows you to click on that reservation and see what rooms are available as well. But also the cool thing about that, it actually works with digital signage as well, if you don't know. So you can actually push that digital signage, um, that, that full diagram to digital signage. So let's say that you're sitting in um, the kitchen and you're making yourself a coffee and you I want to know where Tony's sitting. You can look at that digital signage and oh, Tony's sitting on the other side of the office. I'm just going to go and, and pop in and say hi. So. I think that's a so great well away because you've got all the cameras, right? So, but yeah, it's, it's a great thing. Is especially now you don't want staff walking around the office um, trying to find someone. I know that in some organisations, um, there's hundreds of you know five, ten floors. You don't want to go up and down and trying to, or even try to call the person to find where they are. Well, with this, you can actually go see straight from a from a digital signage or where they're sitting. Mate, I'm always finished this coffee. Next time we have to organize you to have a coffee as well. But that's been really good. If anyone's got any questions, please reach out to Terry or myself with regards to, you know, Teams and, and Zoom integration, but also reservations and Zoom rooms, yeah? Yep. Fantastic. Thank you for your time. We'll catch you next week. Cool. All right then. Take care.